Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of VFR Training from FS Academy. Uh, this is lesson number three, and we are going to be learning about circuits. Uh, I have a little concern because we have switched to another aircraft. We were flying in a Cessna 152, so I was trying to get, you know, kind of getting used to that a little bit, how the trim and everything. Now we are in a Robin uh, DR400 Cadet, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure that was a good idea to switch planes, but hey, whatever. I'm not the I'm not the instructor, so I guess they know what they're doing. All right, but let's get going. and a new location, the Robin DR400 and Tauranga in New Zealand. Mm. We're not going to land just yet, so maintain circuit altitude of 1,000 feet and okay. fly overhead the runway, tracking the center line. Will do. The circuit pattern is the way VFR flights are organized when circling an airfield. A series of left-hand, 90-degree turns takes us around the circuit in a rectangle shape. The basic circuit is the same everywhere for consistency, although terrain or airspace limitations may require a right-hand circuit to be made, which will be noted on the charts. There are four sides to the rectangle which are named. If we were landing now, this would be the final leg. Once beyond the far end of the runway, we'll make a left turn onto the crosswind leg. Another 90 degree left turn would then take us onto the downwind leg, where we fly parallel to the runway at the circuit altitude of 1,000 feet above the airfield elevation. Once we reach the end of that downwind leg, Seen once the landing threshold appears at a 45 degree angle behind you, we make a third left turn onto the base leg and start to descend and decelerate. Judging visually, we then make our final turn onto the final leg, where we're lined up to land. Make a left turn now onto the crosswind leg. Remember the circuit altitude is 1,000 feet. For the moment, keep your speed at 110. So I was having a little trouble getting the uh, aircraft back to a thousand feet and up to speed. Roll out on a heading of one six zero to fly the crosswind leg. From when the uh, mission started, I guess. <clears throat> guess it's a issue with the SDK now. I guess they can't keep it like at a specific now holding point. Now make another left turn so. onto downwind. Okay. So that'll put us about zero six zero ish. So aircraft feels much different than the so much different Roll than out the. on heading zero seven zero to parallel the runway. Okay, uh, that was a little off by ten. We'll do our downwind checks. Brakes are pressured but released. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture full rich, fuel on and sufficient, indications are in the green, and security seatbelts are fastened, doors are closed. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha, downwind for touch and go. Oh, jeez. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha, number one, report final. Wilco, Foxtrot Sierra Alpha. Now make another left turn. Power back and start a gentle descent. Decelerate to 80 knots. Okay, we'll do maybe 500 feet. Whoa, can't slow down to 80 knots when you're... Now we're in the white airspeed band. Extend the first stage of flaps. Set power and trim for 80 knots. 80 knots is about 150. Now turn left and align yourself on the runway center line. Take uh. full flaps and speed 60 knots. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha turning final. 
I should not have switched airplanes. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha cleared touch and go runway 25, wind 2608. Clear touch and go runway 25, Foxtrot Sierra Alpha. Set landing flaps. Select an aiming point and okay. lock it into place, not allowing it to move up or down in the windscreen. Set power and trim for 60 knots. After touchdown, stay on the center line, set takeoff flaps and full power for a touch and go. Aim for a speed of 60 knots. Trying to hold that steady. Feels really windy here. I don't know if it is or not. Now look to the far end of the runway, power to idle, set the flare attitude, touching down with the main wheels. Okay. Flaring. Okay, down. Maintain the center line and set takeoff flaps. Take off flaps. Now apply full power with some right rudder for the engine torque. Okay, full power. Now raise the nose to the takeoff attitude. All right. Keep full power and the climbing attitude. Keep the right rudder in whilst climbing on the runway heading. About 80 knots. Passing 300 feet above airfield level, so retract the flaps. Okay, flaps up. Once above 500 feet, turn left onto the crosswind leg, climbing to 1,000 feet. Okay. That's 500. There's 500 feet above airfield level, so make your left turn onto crosswind. Should be 1-6, uh, I believe. Roll out heading 160 and yep. climb back up to the circuit altitude of 1,000 feet. Level off at 1,000 feet and start your left turn onto downwind. Accelerate to about 90 knots. Downwind checks. Brakes pressured and released. Undercarriage fixed. Mixture full rich. Fuel on and sufficient. Trim Engines it. in the green and secure. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha downwind 25 for low approach and overshoot. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha Roger, your number one, cleared low approach and overshoot runway 25. Cleared low approach and overshoot runway 25. Next circuit request low level. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha Roger, next circuit low level approved. I have to adjust my speed to get back down to 90 knots. This aircraft is so different than the Cessna. Make the left base turn here, power back to 80 knots and start a descent. We're going to do a missed approach this time. Okay. Speeds in the white band, first stage of flaps and power for 80 knots. Flaps down. Oh, going too low. I'm not going to get 80 knots. There's 80 knots right there. Level out. Make the final turn. Take landing flaps. Power okay. for 60 knots. Landing flaps. Oh boy, this is bumpy. Keep the aiming point locked in the windscreen and I'll say when to initiate a go around. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
can't tell. That's about 70 knots. Okay. Don't want to get too low or on speed. I mean, aim for a speed of 60 knots. Trying to get that too white, too red. There we go. Try to keep it. Go around oh. full power and set the climb attitude. Full power. Forgot we were doing go around. Hold the climb attitude and set takeoff flaps. Okay, takeoff flaps. Use right rudder to keep straight and climb to just 500 feet. We'll make a low level circuit this time, still with left hand turns. Keep the flaps set as they are. All right. About 80 knots right now. Maintain 500 feet and make a left turn to crosswind. We'll make a low level circuit, which will be tighter than before. Mm -mm -mm. Stay 500. Whoa. Zero six zeros or 160 is what I'm looking for. All right there. Okay. I'm going to keep about, I got to keep in the white band with the, since the flaps are up or down, sorry. Now make another left turn onto our tighter downwind leg. Keep a speed of about 80 knots. I'm trying. Looking for zero seven zero and rolling out. Downwind checks. Brakes pressured and released. Undercarriage fixed. Mixture full rich. Fuel on and sufficient. Engines in the green and secure with seatbelts fastened. Okay, looks Fox good. Shot Sierra Alpha, low level downwind, runway 25 for full stop. Foxtrot Sierra Alpha cleared to land, runway 25, wind 260 at 7 knots. Cleared to land, runway 25, Foxtrot Sierra Alpha. Even though we're lower and closer in, we keep the same references. So we'll again make our turn when the runway is 45 degrees behind us. As we're closer to the runway, We'll make a continuous base turn onto final, keeping our altitude until halfway around the base turn. Slow down. There we go. Should be getting close. That's about the right spot, so make a continuous left turn, holding 500 feet initially, speed 80 knots. Okay, working on that. Okay, I can see the runway. Don't want to get. There Keep we go. Keep the turn going, take full flaps and power for 60 knots. Full flaps. We're going to land off of this approach. All right. Power off, flare attitude. All right, power idle. Okay, down. Whew. Keep the center line and allow the speed to come back on its own without braking. The exit is a little way further down the runway. So the reason it's uh, less noisy in the cockpit, I've turned a headphone simulation on uh, within the sound settings. So, so it muffles some of the engine noise. Take the runway exit coming up on the right. Yes, sir. 
Great, that's your first introduction to circuits complete. Press escape to exit. Wow, okay. Well, I don't think I've ever done circuit training before, so that was kind of fun. Um, I definitely did not like switching the aircraft because I was trying to get used to the Cessna 152, but I, I would assume when you're doing pilot training, you usually stick to one aircraft. So uh, maybe that would have been better if I had the 152 still. But regardless, we did it. It was a little difficult, but hey, that's the that's the fun about learning, trying new things and if it was all easy, then, you know, what's the point? But anyways, thanks uh, for following along, and we'll see you on the next one.